What's going on guys, Michael here and today I'm going to be showing off a trick that you can do on Android to make your phone look like uh, iOS for the iPhone. Uh, the first thing you want to do is head over to the marketplace on your Android phone. I'm pretty sure this works for any handset but it's better to have one with uh, 2.1 or above preferably. But um, you want to hit search in the market and it's the last thing that I typed in so it's going to come up in my recents. So uh, the application itself is called SPEAR and it's actually called SPEAR Launcher. There's an option to choose normal SPEAR Launcher or SPEAR Launcher 2.1 and because my HTC Hero is on 2.1 I'm going to be using the 2.1 version. So you want to download and install that and once you've done that and press the home button you get the option to use either for me HTC Sense or the launcher. The launcher being uh, the iOS port. So I'm going to click launcher and here we go. Uh, that looks uh, exactly like iOS that you'd have on an iPhone. Um, i got to say because my phone's not really fast like a high class or high end Android phone mine does lag quite a bit and you can't do certain things like um, I tried putting a app into another uh, to make a folder which is possible I've, I've seen it done but um, it's not possible on this phone because it's uh, a bit slow. Or I'm, not, I'm not sure what the real reason is, but it, it won't work. But um, yeah, the layout is exactly like iOS. You've got the four um, dock icons. You can, of course, if you hold down to, hold down the icons, they will jiggle about. You can move them. You can delete uh, the downloaded applications because they have a cross in the top right, uh, top left hand corner of the icons. So that is uh, like iPhone. And then you'd obviously click back to stop the jiggle. But um, to prove that you can move them, like I said, mine's very laggy, but yeah, it is possible to do so. Um, uh, a lot of people are going to probably complain now that I said that this bit looks like the notification bar is going to look like iOS 5, but it's the other way around. It's, uh, the iOS 5 notification bar looks like the uh, Android version, but uh, it just gives it a bit of a more authentic, I guess. And the nice thing is that all these applications actually do work. It's not just some kind of design just on top of it. As you can see in my messages, it says that I've got one message. And if I look there, it says I have got a message from a friend of mine. So that's always nice. All these applications uh, actually do work. So if I was to click on something like the calculator, it would actually take me to the calculation. Um, it's also got search my iPhone as well. So you can type something into your iPhone and then it will be the same. So you could go look it up and uh, it uh, by default adds the background for the iOS 4 slash 5 and that's quite nice as well but um, this is uh, it's, it's nice having when you press home because you get the two options it's nice have, feel, have them feel, having the feeling that you could still go back to your um, default uh, settings so it's not exactly like a route where you can't really go back it's one way you can so just by pressing home button then you can bring up SBA launcher and then you'll be back into iOS mode. Now, unlike uh, HTC Sense, where everything is in a menu like this, in SPA Launcher, it's the same as iPhone, and um, it would appear uh, in scroll screens like this, so you don't actually have a menu uh, dragging up uh, or down, so you have to manually scroll and find apps. But uh, if you have the higher-end Android phones, then you could, of course, make them into folders, and then it'll be uh, much easier to navigate your interface. But um, yeah, that's about it for the uh, iOS uh, theme, or well, not the theme, but like a version of it for Android. It's not the real version, but it's uh, one that's good nonetheless. So if you want an iPhone, but you're stuck with an Android phone like I am on contract, then uh, this is a good way of redeeming for that, I guess. But um, yeah, that's just a quick look at SPA Launcher for Android. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like the like button. Helps me out a lot. Come check out my channel, subscribe, hopefully. Then you can keep uh, updated my latest videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. So bye.